Hello everyone, my name is Halsey Lion and today I'll be giving you my top 10 tips and tricks that you need to know as soon as you get into X4 Foundations. I have gathered all of this information in my first 10 hours of gameplay, time in which I actually felt like a baby learning to walk for the first time. First off, I'll start with the subject of the thumbnail, selling ships. Before the tip, allow me to offer a bit of context. When I bought myself a new ship, I couldn't afford to purchase some needed upgrades for it, and I wanted to sell my previous one. But I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to do it because selling a ship is not that intuitive. So as I was ordering my pilot to dock my ship at the Sargon Wharf, I noticed that among Flight 2 and the dock orders, you also have the option to sell your ship from apparently anywhere in space. As you do, you get paid, lose ownership of that spacecraft and the pilot flies it to the dock. Allow me to repeat for clarity. Open the map, click on Property Owned, select the ship, right click the wharf and select the sell option. It's also a good idea to repair a ship before you sell it to get a better price for it. Second tip, docking. It actually took me a while to figure out how to do this, but it's not that hard. Basically, you request permission to dock by either using the menu or by pressing shift D. Once you do that, the path gets shown with green light, which you will follow until you find a hologram of your ship. So you go there and you try to align your ship with a position showed by the hologram. As you do that, some indicators will appear to help you correctly position your ship. The upper line represents ship rotation and since rotation is mostly automatic, this will be green most of the time. The circle in the middle is also easy to turn green because all you need to do is get your crosshairs right on top of it. Then you get some arrowheads on the lower side of this interface which represent whether you're centered towards the platform and you also have a triangle pointing upwards, which may move either towards right or left. And when this triangle is centered, the arrowheads turn green. Now we gotta get the triangle to turn green and the way you do this is by strafing downwards on the platform. When green, you're technically landed on the platform, but we gotta deal with the last element, the lower line. As you slowly move forwards or backwards, this triangle can be either above or below the red line. Simply adjust that last position by going either forward or backwards until the line above the triangle matches the lower line and you should be docked. Or you can forget about all of this, purchase a docking computer mark 2 and just fly to your hologram and your ship will do the rest. Tip number 3 is about expanding your horizons exploring known space and finding stations to trade with or take missions from. First you need to know how to find stations in your current sector. So go to your ship menu and enable a long range scan mode or just press shift 3. Then hold the R key for a while but not for too long or else the scan will fail. After you release the R key you'll send out a wave of uh, something that detects certain signals. Next step is to open your map and if you see some question marks that read unknown station Set up guidance towards it with a right click and check the station up. It may have some discounted goods you can buy and sell somewhere else for a profit or you can check for mission offers which may pay you quite a little bit. I could talk more about missions and trading but I don't have enough experience to explain those. Tip number 4 ties in with the long range scanner from earlier. As you scan empty space you may see pings with different colors, grey being the most common. Stations appear as grey pings, asteroids appear as grey pings, most things appear as grey because that represents the most common things in space. Some abandoned loot containers may also appear as grey but you won't know that because they'll blend in with everything else. But you may also find blue, golden and purple pings which all stand for different things and this is where I actually wanted to go. Purple pings are actually anomalies that when entered, transport you really far away from your current place. And once you are really far from where you were two seconds ago, you can set guidance to any known stations and follow the road back home, this time through known space. As you travel, you'll be taking highways that go through stargates leading you from system to system, as well as super highways that may take you from one subsector to another. As you travel, you'll find even more stations and trade opportunities and you may even find a wharf or a shipyard to allow you to use tip number one. One other useful trick you can use, especially if you have a lot of distance to cover and you also want to do something else with your time, is to use the autopilot to get you to a station or a location. But wait, the autopilot sucks! 
So what you can use as a better alternative to the autopilot are the services of a pilot which you can hire aboard any station. Once you hire a crewman just as I am doing in the video footage, he'll take the captain's seat aboard your ship. You can actually take over from him whenever you want and if you need to be AFK but don't want to pause your game, you can get up, have your pilot take over and give your ship the order to dock or go somewhere. And the pilot will actually use the full travel capabilities of your ship, unlike the slow, unwieldy autopilot. Tip number 7 is, you need to increase your reputation with a faction of your choice to unlock better weapons, and the best way to do so early game is by running missions. But watch out, some of these missions ask you to attack members of other factions, so you're not gonna be friends with everyone holding hands with each other running towards a rainbow. As you take missions, take a look at the faction you're taking it for, right here, and also pay attention to who you're gonna have to kill right here, because if he belongs to any faction, his entire guild will hate you. As you increase your rank, you'll have to visit a faction representative and get promoted, and with your first rank, you'll have access to guild missions which send you in a war against other opposing alliances. Anyway, how do you visit faction representatives, you may ask? Well, as you land on stations, you're going to find these transporter rooms and have them take you anywhere on the station, including to the aforementioned persons. Tip number 9 is actually pretty easy, but I've had many people ask a certain question, including myself. The question was, where is the station trader? Well, once you leave the comfort of your ship, you can take a look around. Once you see a shopping cart hologram, go towards it and you can find the trader there. He won't buy or sell many things, but you can at least buy space to upgrade from him. Oh, and you can also find a crafting bench around him as well and use it for, uh, crafting. And tip number 10, if implying it wasn't enough, you can actually use travel mode to get to your destinations faster. But you don't need to navigate to your menu every time you need to activate this mode, you can actually just press shift 1 and it activates automatically. And if you'd like to scan, as you travel through empty space, you can actually switch to the long range scan with shift 3, charge up a scan with R, and then immediately switch back to travel mode with shift 1, yet again. If you find any interesting things as you scan, you will have to readjust your course, but you most likely won't find anything, and if you do scan like this, you won't lose a lot of speed from the travel mode when you interrupt it for the scanning. A bonus tip I have for you is actually common sense. Read everything you can in the encyclopedia so you can gain as much information as possible. Your encyclopedia is actually incomplete at first and you'll fill it up as you play, but you should use it as much as you can. You may also use the in-game tutorials to learn some basic concepts, and if you do get stuck on a tutorial, just abandon it. I do have some other information to share, but I have not tested it fully, and until I can confirm something works, I ain't gonna share it. But this was all I had for today, I hope this was helpful and if you enjoyed it, I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.